guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to spoil up a bait canister. So, the bait canister I'm gonna be spoiling up is my Dio CC80. Gonna be re spoiling it. Some people say you need to have a, a front of the spool facing up or have the bottom of it facing up. It really doesn't make a difference when putting the line on the reel and preventing tangles, line tangles. So, you just sit on the floor, take your reel, and what you do, first you wanna put the reel on the ride, like this. And when putting put the line on the bait caster, or spinning reel, I like to go one eyelid up. So this eyelid right here is the first one before you get to the rest of the eyelid. So I go through there first with my fishing line. Go through there. And then one major step is some people, they'll just take this, run it through the front of the reel, but don't go through this eye. They'll just run it through, tie it onto the spool, be reeling, and it'll just get caught up in everything and be a big mess. So you wanna make sure you go through it like this, or through there. Then the line come out of there. Don't wanna go in between nothing. You wanna go straight through there. And you wanna just tie two overhand knots in the little spool. Some spools have the little holes in them. Some don't have the little holes in them. Some just have like one hole and that's it. But this one have them going through the whole spool. A song don't have them at all where like a little notch that you tie your knot onto, or you just tie like a loop knot and connect it onto it. But all you do is just tie two overhand knots. The best knot for this could just go through, reel it on till you get the line again. Then tie your overhand knot. Okay, that's one. Then do another one. And that's two. A minimum you want to do is two. You can do as many as you like, but make sure you do two. But just to be safe, I'm going to do three. So you want to make sure your tension knob is tight. Like the tightest it'll go, which mine is. Your brakes completely tight and your uh, drag tight. The reason you want everything tight is you want everything to flow uh, smooth on the spool and be tightly on there. Because if everything is really loose and you really and you make your first cast with it, the line is going to bunch up, you're going to get a big backlash, and that's what you don't want. So, the hell down there on the floor. Or you can make like a little box thing, put a pencil through it like that, or you, you can do it like that. But when you're by yourself, this is the easiest way to do it. So you just wanna reel. And what I like to do is hold the line and go back and forth with it. So everything goes smooth, smoothly on the spool. So just gonna hold it like that. But sometimes, but sometimes you don't have to. Once you are done spooling up your reel, one thing I advise doing, especially if you're a beginner with bait casters, is taking the spool out of the reel frame and running hot water over it. That's to make it stick more to the spool and be tighter on there to order to prevent backlashes. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share.